Hello, I'm Susie, the training ambassador with Mayflower. Today I have a tall, fun, exciting, colorful uh, balloon art that uh, we're going to build up and let's get started. What it's going to entail is six sets of quads. Four of the six sets will be 11 inch balloons. The reds will be blown up with 18 pumps. The orange are going to have 10 pumps. You're going to have another set of golden broad with 18 pumps and then a set of pink with 10 pumps. If you're not quite sure how to build a quad or you don't know what that is, I'd like to show you. A quad is a pair of duplets joined together. So in order to make a quad, you're going to want to take your balloon, put the lip of the balloon down to that first nodule. And to me, I don't know if this is official, but to me, when, when I speak of pumps, a pump is just one movement. So this is going to be two pumps. And then I'm going to blow up another one in the same fashion with two pumps. And I like them nice and round. And I'm going to wrap it twice. And I just need to tie it once. So a duplet and a duplet creates a quad. So you're going to need two sets of five inch balloons and um, two quads. All right, so let's get started with the um, assembly. So first of all, we're going to take our first set of quads. These are the 18 pumps. And I'm just going to tie a weight on the inside. And anytime I have balloons that are sitting on the ground, I feel like it's always a good idea to give them some socks on their feet just in case any sharp objects come along. This will prevent them from popping and it also keeps them nice and clean. Okay, so now we can put on our quads that are 10 pumps each and we can just tie these guys together so that we have something that looks like it is. Okay, something I didn't really go over yet is uh, we're going to get a 360 and this is in goldenrod, thank you very much, and this is filled up with six pumps and then we're going to wrap around a couple of curly 260s around that so to get a nice curly 260 the recommended act is you must pre-inflate the balloon first and let the air out and then you can just wrap it around a cylindrical object I recommend your rose cutter this is a pipe that I just picked up from uh, Home Depot and it also works quite well and when you're twisting your balloon you want to make sure that it's nice and flat against your round cylindrical object and then you just want to inflate your balloon sometimes it gets a little twisted so don't let it do that and when it gets to the top it usually just kind of pops up and then it'll kind of mirror or mimic that cylindrical side okay so I've gone ahead of time and inflated three 260s, nice and curly, and I'm going to join the, the inflation ends all together down here. So, easiest I guess is to tie two together, then one together, and then you can take the three tie it together with a whip. I like to make sure I double knot the last one just to make sure that they are firm and in place. Nothing worse than losing your balloon art halfway through. Okay, so now that I have these, I am going to take a uh, 260 wrap it around here and I'm going to put this unit right in the center. 
I'm going to wrap these around. Great colors, aren't they? It's like spring and summer. Okay, so this is not obviously done, but it, it looks like this. Fire. Okay, now I'm going to take the top of the 260 and I am going to place my pink, which this has 10 pumps, quad, in the center. And then my golden rods, which has 18 pumps, in the center of that. And this, I just make a quick figure eight around to secure it. sweet spot of these so it's just going to be right on the inside of that quad. I'm going to take the other half and put that on the inside of the cloud that it's sitting on. And then we're going to go kind of kitty cornered. have this wonderful magical cloud rainbow unit. I'm working on getting a camera that can give us a little wider view, but I'll send you a picture of the finished product. All right, that is my design of the day, and I hope that this helps make your department much more beautiful and happy. Thank you for joining us today at Mayflower. Have yourself a wonderful day.